previously on Behind the Scenes, The Maiden Voyage. The PCG shared a closer look at a successful harbor acceptance test and inspection to ensure conformity with the specified technical specifications for the second of the two largest capital vessels of the agency, the BRP Melchor Aquino MRRV 9702. Over the last few months, the PCG sent personnel to Shimonoseki, Yamaguchi, Japan to serve and compose the sailing crew for the second of the two biggest flagships of its kind. They have endured weeks of vessel familiarization and operation training provided by the ship operation experts from Mitsubishi Shipbuilding Company Limited. As the need for a competent and technically able crew is paramount and its aim to safely deliver the vessel from the waters of Japan to the Philippines and further beef up the PCG's capability and the future conduct of maritime operations. Join us as the Coast Guard Public Affairs gives an inside look at the recent shipboard training of the sailing crew of MRRV 9702 before it sets out to sea and makes its maiden voyage to the Philippines. April 8, 2022. A team composed of 31 officers and crew of the Philippine Coast Guard bid their families goodbye. As the Coast Guard fleet carefully chose them to take part in the capacity building training at Shimonoseki Shipyard and Machinery Works of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in Japan. In a PCG exclusive, the Coast Guard Public Affairs sits down with the key officers of MRRV 9702 for a one-on-one -on -one interview as they unfold the preparations to ensure the competency of members to man the biggest asset of the PCG fleet today. Yes, I'm Coast Guard Commander Patrick Babag. I'm the commanding officer of the MRRB 9702, yeah, which will be named BRP Melchor Aquino. For me, uh, it's for the overall uh, overseeing of the training of the officers and crew. Part of me for being there also is, the, uh, is to be able to learn how to safely maneuver the ship because for all we know it's uh, the biggest hardware of the coast guard right now actually the second so maneuvering it is different way from all the vessels that i've handled in the past for the past three years and i'm captain antonio b santillanosa jr Presently, I'm the alternate commanding officer of MRRV 9702. Actually, it's just the same as the primary commanding officer. It's just that I will just take over in cases wala yung, ano, yung primary, yung commanding officer. Secondly, my thought about this is CG Fleet doesn't want to waste yung training, so they have included an alternate 
sayang yung ano yung opportunity to train other commanding officers to handle this kind of vessel. I'm Commander Marlon Naviles, the Operation Officer of BRP Milchora Aquino. At the same time, I am the Training Officer of this vessel. With regards to training in Japan in Shimonoshiki Shipyard, overall uh, it was satisfactory. So, isang karangalan din po na nag-training tayo, dagdag po ng kaalaman para po mapabuti ang ating serbisyo sa pagbabarko. With regards to the sailing crew, most of them are with maritime background. The officers uh, came from the different academies with training on maritime and with the crew, most of them are members and crews of different MRVs that have been deployed to the different parts of the country and were selected to be part of the 9702 crew. Compared to other vessels of the Coast Guard, what is different from this vessel is the Japanese has integrated most of the systems into one. So, not like the previous MRVs, the systems are standalone. It would be easy for the commanding officers to evaluate the different um, activities and scenarios that are present. So, very important for us to, to know and to how to operate this uh, vessel. Since uh, this is the uh, biggest ship in the inventory of the Philippine Coast Guard, there are additional features. Yeah. Lalo -lalo na, meron na siyang stabilizer, meron na siyang anti-rolling tank, saka napakalaki yung L-rad. Meron na rin siyang hyperbaric, meron din siyang additional uh, communication equipment na wala din sa ibang barko. So that's basically most of the concentration of the education is how to operate the machineries and equipments, especially the engine. Kasi malaki na yung engine, so mas malaki na yung, yung babantayan, mas malaki yung i-maintain, mas maraming pag-aaralan ng mga equipments. And recently, ang mga equipments is with sensors and push buttons and all, almost all computerized. The training of the crew is very important since managing uh, this kind of vessel is new to us. Since it's, it is bigger, the systems are integrated. With regards to the challenges, one is the language barrier. Second is yung the compressed time that we have. It's very limited, so we have to catch up with the schedule given to us. The challenge is limit lang yung tao. Only 50% of the total crew of the vessel na pinapadala. Yung program naman ng training sa Japan, uh, although we have limited time because uh, it was programmed only more than one month. ginawa namin is uh, inati-hati namin yung tropa so in four teams before we went there for the training there were already taskings on the each departments one step at a time lang start oh okay na dila yun on merong sa propulsion system sa navigational system a communication system sa mga deck equipment. So simultaneously sa isang araw sabay-sabay sila nagte-training. Ni-maximize namin yung time para matuto talaga. What we really admire for them is how they really follow the schedule. They try to finish the schedule on time. They try to finish it at as what it has been programmed in their program of instruction. Ang kagandahan Itong mga tao natin may mga work experience na basic knowledge nandoon na may mga experience na international lalo na yung mga officer natin marunong na magbasa ng mga diagrams with the two months training very smooth it was well timed and scheduled we always hear it from our senior officers before that the coast guard is a sea going agency
it should not be a hindrance for everyone not to go on board on board ship kasi right now looking back at the coast guard 20 years ago when we started our careers junior village we have to queue sa coast guard perining forces waiting for a vacant that somebody would finish the billet and then saka kami papalit right now the coast guard very, is very blessed just imagine for the past 5 years the coast guard has commissioned almost 17 ships uh, starting from the 424 meters the 83 the gabriela and then the 10 uh, MRRBs and now the 297 meters so the coast guard has nabiyayaan ng ano eh ng, ng gobyerno ng magagandang gamit so we should be proud of it it's not everyday na nangyayari yan ayun nga nung nakita namin yung barko sa sobrang laki uh, pati nga kami mismo na amazed dahil dun sa napakarami ng equipment na imi-maintain so masasabi natin na state of the art yung barko kasi wala siyang pinagkaiba sa mga barko ng ibang bansa katulad ng Japan Coast Guard. So maybe I can say we are at par with other international Coast Guard pagdating sa mga equipment ng barko. Napaka-importante kasi yan na ano, uh, the first thing that you do when you go on board the ship is you have to know the ship. If you don't know the ship, you cannot properly operate it. So that's the basic foundation. The people that have been sent there are the ones with already an experience on board the ship. We cannot send people there that don't pa mag -aaral. That's a very disadvantage to us. So before we went there, all each and every one has been carefully chosen by the Coast Guard fleet. We part of the team to go there to study the proper uh, technology, kung how to operate it safely and properly. Kaming lahat ng mga sailing crew, nang unang nagpapasalamat kami sa mainit na pagtanggap ng Mitsubishi Company. Although they are not uh, uniformed, they are civilian. So, tinatrato nila kami na maayos. Overall, I'm, I'm very glad that I'm part of this. And the experience will never be compared to other activities that or experiences that I had sa Philippines. I'm, I would like to thank the Mitsubishi company for giving us this wonderful experience, this uh, great training for the crew. I thank them for accommodating us uh, and treating us well for the Shimonoseki Shipyard. So, salamat din kami sa ating counterpart na nagpursigi din sila. Uh, at uh, yung training na kinandak sa amin is ano naman, uh, very extensive. Uh, talagang focus kasi limited yung oras. So, ginawa din nila lahat yung mga dapat ituro sa amin. Hindi naman lahat nagtapos ang training sa Japan. Uh, meron pa kaming training sa dito sa Pilipinas until uh, July. So nandito pa rin sila. Sinusuportahan tayo para ma-transfer ng maayos yung bagong technology. Yun din ang uh, dapat nating handaan kung paano natin ma-maintain itong bagong technology na to. Oh, for me, it's, a, it's an honor because uh, it's not every day or every year na nagkakaroon tayo ng barko sa Coast Guard na ganun kalaki. So, malaking karangalan, hindi lang naman sa akin, and for the whole crew. To be able to be part of the history of the Coast Guard. Next, on the PCG's Behind the Scenes, The Maiden Voyage. The Coast Guard Public Affairs shares exclusive footages of the preparations for the departure of MRV 9702. Okay, good, As it sails out from Kanmon Strait in Shimonoseki, Japan, and embarks on a voyage 1,500 nautical miles underway towards the Philippines. finally arriving at the port of Manila, awaiting for his commissioning to the Coast Guard Service as BRP Melchora Aquino. 
日本とフィリピンは互いに自由民主主義法の支配といった基本的価値を共有する大切なパートナーです